I'm out here in the field today looking for insects for my own collection so that I can take them home and photograph them for iNaturalist. I'm planning on examining them a little bit closer with a microscope or a hand lens. For supplies, I'll be using this butterfly net and some forceps to catch the insects and these vials to store them in. And I'll also be using my phone so that I can keep track of where I've been collecting. I want to know what's been buzzing around these flowers, so I'm going to go ahead and sweep them with my butterfly net and see what I can catch. So. Now, I caught a small rove beetle. I'll take a really rough picture of it inside its container. It's not the quality of the image that matters, but rather the date and location associated with it. What happens next to your specimen is entirely up to you. You don't necessarily need to kill your insects in order to get closer to them, but a dead bug makes for a much more cooperative model. I prefer the freezer method. Simply put the containers with your specimens inside for a few hours. As the insect's metabolism slow, they will fall into a so-called hibernation state, followed by death. I've let my specimen sit in the freezer for about three hours, so now it's time to pin it. Once I move its legs to a more lifelike position, I'll let the beetle dry for about a day. Keep in mind, the bigger the bug, the more time it'll take to dry. I've written up a label using the information from the field photo to accompany the insect. This is what turns my pinned beetle into a complete scientific specimen. With a little bit of practice, you can take great shots by simply holding a hand lens or magnifying glass in between your phone's camera and the specimen. There are also plenty of products such as this one which clips onto your phone, providing a 10 times magnification to your camera. I got one for about $10 and it's lasted me over two years. As you can see, I like to take lateral, head-on, and dorsal shots. It's time to format my iNaturalist observation. First, I'll select my images, then change the date and location information to match that of the rough picture that I took in the field. Next, I'll choose the taxon that I'm most confident with, Staphylinidae, or rove beetles, and finally, upload my observation. iNaturalist is my personal favorite database to upload my observations of insects and spiders to because of its ease of use and the inclusive culture of citizen science that it fosters. Of course, there are plenty of other databases to populate. These include Bug Guide, the Symbiota Collections of Arthropods Network, or SCAN, the Global Biodiversity Information Facility, or GBIF, and many others. As long as you know where and when a specimen was collected or photographed, that specimen can become a valuable data point within any of these bioinformatic databases.